Danny, looks like you're gonna turn five years. A huge boy. What you got here? This is sky. Here is a sky. Cool. Okay, looks like you're not gonna show me. So it's microscope. You can explore this interesting world. This is fire truck. Extremely cool. Danny, are you happy? Looks like you're happy. Yeah? It's Danny birthday! First ever birthday in Canada here, five years old. It's a huge boy. Nice. Hello friends, absolutely ridiculously I'm going to take street car just to find my car sharing for today. <laughs> it just it seems it may seem like it, it doesn't make any sense, but it's uh, this car for today it's like 20 minutes away by taking street car, you know guys. And yeah, it's uh, my son's uh, my son today is turning five. So this is some kind of birthday vlog and yeah, it's going to be a fun day. Hey, welcome to my channel. This is a channel about life in Canada. And it's nice to see you back, guys. Have fun. So yeah, friends, just after this coffee, my morning actually started. So yeah, I should explain explain why I actually I'm renting out this car so far away from my condo. It's like, for me, it's like 20 minutes away from my condo. You know, I live uh, around distillery district. And now, you can check this out. This is CN Tower. CN Tower behind me, and I'm so far away. But yeah, why I'm doing this? Because, because of new adventure. And sometimes if you're gonna uh, if you're gonna rent some car here in Toronto, in my case it's Communa Auto, you have to make some booking like one month in ahead, you know, like it's not sometimes it's not useful and it's pretty hard to find a car near around you, like in your neighborhood. So that's why I've got this car like so far away from my house. But this is Hyundai Kuna, and that's the second reason why I'm gonna rent this car. Because I want to try this Hyundai Kuna uh, because of maybe it could be some one of the options to buy some car in the future. So yeah, that's it. Hey guys, what a lovely car I got here today. It's Hyundai Kuna, and yeah, first my my first impressions is actually it's so nice car. It's a good, it's a bunch of space around me, so yeah, just yeah, it's going to be a fun day. It's my son's birthday, and yeah, just I need to grab my family and. Actually, I have no idea what we're gonna do today. It's uh, like <laughs> my wife knows what actually gonna be happen today. It's, it could be like IKEA experience. I don't know, maybe we're gonna explore the GTA. So yeah, guys, just stay tuned, guys. Thank you for watching this one. And by the way, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Some kind of login with my driving experience, with my drive adventure here in, in Canada, in Toronto. So yeah, and thank you for watching this one. Please leave me some comments below under this video if you want to, uh, I don't know, if you want to try some particular car here in Toronto, I can do it for you, no problem, just it's just for me. I love cars, I love some getting some different experience here in, in Toronto by driving some cars, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching this one.
Hey guys, what I should mention here, the driving in the city inside, this is the first of the time when I'm driving through the city, like here in downtown. And I should say here, it's not something that you can handle fast, you know. Every time you have to stay on traffic lights and it's some traffic jam, so yeah. This is Danny and his beautiful mom. All right, friends, we arrived to Etobica. This is IKEA and this is the first of the time we're here and actually it's so huge parking space around here but it's so busy now it's uh it's monday it's like the middle of the day and yeah we just have to buy some table for my son and for kids uh, today we're going to have a couple of kids i believe it's going to be one <laughs> beautiful girl uh, called sonia and this is a beautiful girl's going to be at home like we found our table. Danny, do you like it? Hey okay, guys, just try to guess where we stuck. As always, it's toy section. <laughs> what do you think? If it's, if it's important to at home to have like this dinosaur? Or probably some elephant, I don't know. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna spend here about five, six hours and we should be ready to make some choice. Danny, do you like it? Yes? Size of this putin here. It's huge, isn't it? So, yeah, the price is about $30 for all the stuff in here, but we bought a bunch of things here. Can you show Like from there? Yeah. Do you like it? This is Happy Boy. <laughs> this is Happy Pace, Happy Daniel's Pace. So actually, yeah, we found what we actually was looking for. This is table for kids. And yeah, let's get out of here. If you didn't know, in IKEA it's possible to find some used uh, stuff, like used furniture. Like exactly, this, the kind where you can find some much affordable price for some furniture. You know guys, what I love in IKEA? It's every time in every country, it's just the same. And you can easily navigate like it's so, so easy. Hey, beautiful people. This place called Long Branch Park. Of course, I'm for the first time here, as usual. <laughs> so yeah, just check this out, this place. I'm sure we can find some fun time here. And this is waterfront line looks so amazing guys wow so sunny day
so nice weather today, guys. It's just it's hard to believe. And this is April 10th. And yeah, this today my son turned five years old. And it's actually it's a huge boy, I should say, here. And yeah, we're gonna meet uh, his girlfriend. It's not like girlfriend, I don't know how to say it. <laughs> okay, it's it's friend, it's girl. And yeah, uh, Daniel so far didn't get a bunch of friends here. Like in Canada, it's a couple of uh, guys, a couple of friends. But today, Daniel wanna, wanna spend this time with uh, Sonia. And today we're gonna meet them in our condo. So I will make some vlogging here. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this was. It's important days for us. It's first birthday here in Canada for my son. And he just started speaking English because for, for him it's pretty hard to start, start speaking, even taking into account that uh, he is five years old. But for him, it's actually, it's uh, already, uh, he's speaking Russian language, speaking Ukrainian language, a couple of words in Polish, and now it's going to be English. And for five years old, it looks like a pretty much enough pretty, yeah? It's, it's a lot of languages for a five years old boy. But yeah, I've, I'm sure he's gonna handle it. It's not easy for him, of course. And he starts speaking like a couple of words, and uh, every day it's, it's becoming like better and better. So yeah, he just need to take his time and it's okay. I'm sure he's gonna be like native speaker, that's for sure. Uh, he's gonna speak much better than me because he young and yeah, he can learn it without any problem. So yeah, let's turn back to this beautiful place. Uh, I'll show you around. This is uh, just uh, pay attention, like it's no known here. It's so empty space, so peaceful, so nice. Yeah, you can see behind me, it's, uh, you can rent something. Can you imagine you can live in here? You can live here in this waterfront, in this building behind me. I don't know what about the price, but it looks like not the bad place to live, yeah? Without you, I remember myself, my name. Forgot about all you tried to change. So friends, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish up this uh, driving experience for today. This is Hyundai Kuna and I have to mention here, it's not about uh, this car review, yes, in this video, but I should mention here, I don't like it so far. It's a good looking car, this exterior, it looks awesome, but I don't like this uh, driving experience in this car. I don't know why, but it's not good for me. And I don't know, this steering wheel, and I, I, all this time I want to I wanted to move it like for me closer but it wasn't possible to do because it's like uh, the last one position for me this uh, steering wheel and my legs you can see is, is still now taking like break can you see can you see my knee so it, it doesn't look cool and you can see like uh, what is the size for my hands yes I can push it closer to me you know guys what I mean so yeah, what about uh, highway experience? I didn't feel confident on highway. I don't know why, but uh, before, uh, sorry, after 100 kilometers, I, I didn't feel confident because it's like, I feel like it's not enough power or something like this, because it's like you're trying to push this accelerator and like nothing happening, you know what I mean? So it, this is not something I, I would love to have on highway. I want to have like some extra power, but not I, I was feeling like it's not enough for me. So yeah, it's not about this car review. Uh, let's uh, let's meet our friends in our home, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make some vlogging at home. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this. This is Hyundai Kona. First of all, time I drive this car. And before I was trying uh, to drive uh, Hyundai Venue, and I should mention this is much better for me. And the price actually is cheaper than this one. And I don't know why we all people we are different, but yeah, Hyundai Venue so far for me this is like 
my favorite and I didn't expect this from Hyundai Kona actually it's a nice car you know it's it's nice a bunch of space behind myself but in general this is my first impressions I will try once again this car in a couple of weeks so uh, maybe next time I will create some review about this car but so far I should mention uh, Hyundai Venue is better for me and this one I don't like I don't like to drive it yeah, that is my, that's my experience. I just want to share it with you guys. I hope it's interesting for you. So yeah, thank you for watching this one. All right, friends, this is April 10, and I feel like it's about 20, positive 20, 20. Actually, it's, uh, I believe it's about 17 or 18. I'm wearing just only one shirt and one t-shirt. But I'm sure it, it, it will be okay in case just one shirt. So yeah, I should say here so far, this spring here in Canada just awesome. In Ukraine, at the same time, I'm sure I, I would have some awful weather because usually it's April in Ukraine, in Kyiv, it's uh, still like winter, you know, it's uh, wet. It's not cool, not good. And Usually some kind of short period of May, like spring, and then like pretty uh, sharply like starting uh, summer. And summer usually it's extremely warm. It's about 30 degrees, 40 degrees. So yes, yeah, it feels much uh, worse than in here in Canada. So yeah, so far I should say in Ontario was uh, much better in Ukraine. So yeah, friends, a quick update here. I just got notified about my rental price increasing and actually it's going to be about 2500 so far for me it's 2200 before utilities and 25 before utilities it looks like not extremely affordable for us to live here in downtown we can do it i believe we can do it but so far i'm not sure we're gonna do it because it's uh, in any way it's better to save some money even if you can afford it just it's better to save some money and maybe move uh, far, farther from here, like from downtown to move, I don't know, in another place, in any of another place. So yeah, it's some kind of news. I just got updated about maybe 10 minutes ago. So yeah, we'll see. We're going to figure out what to do. Danny, you can do it. It shouldn't take a lot of effort from you. I believe you can do it. Danny, you can all. You can all channel. <laughs> Danny, one push, one more. This is only one, it was yours. Yeah, you can do it. Danny, you can do it. Now it's 2020, clear as Tahoe 